Hi everyone, Corey here from Tales from a Polk County Girl, and in this video I'm going to be showing off my first ringed planner. Like this is the one I used, I don't remember if I used it in high school. I want to say I used it in high school, but I probably didn't. Um, but I know I used it early college, probably um, 2006 to 2012 at least. And this wasn't even, I wasn't even its first owner. Like my mom, this was my mom's ringed planner that she then wanted a new binder and gave this one to me. So this is it. It is a desk size or classic size. Uh, it says it's a plan ahead. You can see that. But um, it's very similar in style to the... Um, Franklin Covey or no the daytime or the Verona model because it's got the pocket right here and this is what the inside looks like it's got a zipper pouch right here and one two three four five six card slots and then an ID slot it's got a pocket right here and a pocket right there and this is one of the older ones because it ha only has the three rings which I tend to find more in plan ahead or day runner style planners, whereas um, Franklin Covey and Day Timer they they do the seven. So this is more of like the mini binder set, and then it's got a pouch back here that I never used. I always thought it was a pain in the butt to get to. And it's only got one pen loop, and it's not a non-elastic pen loop. But yeah, this is this was my first one. You like you can see how dusty it is if I get really close. And uh, I used it so much that I wore the the zipper off of it and put one of these little locks on it. And this thing served me well and for as old as it is and as much as I used it, it is still in fabulous shape. It's, I mean, it's got some nicks down here at the bottom. But, I mean, I'm looking it over. Yeah, except for, like, some nicks on the spine and everything. Yeah, you can't even really see them. It's in fantastic shape. But this was also back before I was, like, a real planner addict. Um, I only really kept my... Uh, my calendar and my address book in here I didn't use it as an everything so and I typically got the day timer week on two pages horizontal mainly in the coastal coastlines um, decoration because I just loved it I really did and then I had the address book and that's all that really lived in here for a while and then I started using it more and more and more, and then realized how teeny tiny these rings are. I mean, look at how small they are. But, uh, and then I switched over, my next one up was the Franklin Covey Sierra. But none of these rings have gaps. I never pulled them open, probably because the rings were so stuffed I couldn't, so I just always used the, uh, the tabs. But yeah, this thing served me well for at least six years. So, and I'm actually more surprised that I still have it more than anything. That it didn't go in one of my great purges. Oh, and it is a zipper. I'm pretty sure you guys figured that out. But yeah, this thing was a, it was a good little planner. And it sits on the shelf right now. You know, because you never know. You never, never know. One day I may decide, oh, I want to go back into a regular, a traditional planner binder instead of my Monster Flex. And then I've got this. And one of the things I do like about this is the fact that um, the Franklin Covey and Daytimer inserts do fit in here. I mean, it has the three holes, not seven which is great because, you know, the, the inserts will still fit. 
whereas there are, have been some inserts where they only have three holes and then you have to re-punch them if you have the special punch for Franklin Covey and Daytimer to make them seven hole. I re really wish they would just make everything the standard, let me unzip this again, standard three like this. I really wish they would because then like I have a I have a friend and she uses the day on two pages inserts but she doesn't use a traditional binder like this she just has a mini um one of the mini three ring binders that she uses and it's because it has those three rings those inserts fit perfectly and it works for her and um so yeah so as this was a trip down memory lane for me. I really wish it had another pen loop right here because I, I think that's what attracted me to the Sierra other than the Sierra having those massive rings is it had a dual pen loop. And I would hook, um, cause I used, hang on. Cause all I used at the time were Sharpie pens and the little clip fit I would loop them like that. If you, I hope you can see that. Um, I would just hook the pen, the, the, whatever this thing's called, the pen clip over the pen loop hole, and I can fit two or three pens right there. So with the, um, with the Sierra, I had six pens in here, <laughs> six pens in it. So. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane with me. And if anybody still has their original binders or planner containment unit, what have you, I'd love to see videos and like hear about it and why, and you know, why do you still have it either? Yeah. Share it below in the comments, or if you have your own video, you know, let me know and I'll go check it out because it's to me, I, I haven't kept every bind every binder or anything um that i've ever had i have resold quite a few but there are a handful that i have kept and you know call it sentimental value but to me i think it's interesting if i line up and um really think about what my planner journey has been it's just interesting to see how it evolved and I am uh, writing a full-on uh, planner journey evolution. It's kind of a follow-up to my one year in the planner addict world uh, post that I did in end of 2016, and I'm doing a more in-depth one. That's it's going to be coming out in a few weeks. But yeah, that's um, that's this and. Like I said, it's the Verona style with the pocket in the front. It says it's a plan ahead. But I still think it's what it was a day timer at one point. So thanks for watching. I'll see everybody next time. Bye.